Hello everyone, it's Cam the Yellow Giraffe, and today I have a guest, and do you want to introduce yourself? Hello everyone, my name is ShadowWiper88, I am a fan of Cam's, and we decided to get together and do this dual com, so uh, yeah, let's do this. I know I've been putting the dual com off for a while, so sorry about that. I oh, no. Now. No, it's no problem, I, I can wait. <laughs> I'm pretty patient, I, I am waiting for this stupid motherboard to go on sale so I can actually finish this computer. Okay, so do you want to kind of introduce the topic to our viewers? Uh, sure. What we are going to be talking about today is like overhyped games like Call of Duty and Halo and you know. So this is just from my point of view. So every year they make a Call of Duty game or a Halo game and people are always so excited over the game. They're always like, oh man, it's going to be so epic. Oh my god, the trailer. Oh my god. They're just freaking out. So they get the game, right? And they're just playing it nonstop for like, I'd say maybe a month or so. And then they get bored of it and they see like, they start, maybe they start to suck and then they start trash talking it and people have like mixed emotions and then it's just the same thing happens every year, and that's just, in my opinion. Yeah, I think the trailer breakdowns might contribute to that too, because sometimes you get people who do really good breakdowns, like they're really good videos, but they do a bit too much work on them, I kind of think, and a bit too much searching up. And then they find things that they think might be in the game that would make it pretty cool, and then when it comes to release day, people get it. And all the cool things they had on the list are in the game. So that kind of, I think the overhyping with the trailers too is a very good point. Yeah, like, and then you have all these, like, leaked videos and, like, guns and kill streaks for, like, Call of Duty. And I don't really find it all that interesting because, you know, yeah. it, like, people think, like, if you saw the trailer for Black Ops 2 multiplayer, you saw that they had, like, the dragon fire or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Like, and I'm thinking that it's going to be, like, either A, overpowered. B, like a very high kill streak, and you're not gonna be able to get it. It's gonna be like a juggernaut or whatever. Oh yeah. Or what was I gonna say next? Um, or C, it's just gonna suck, and they just like have sucky players to like test it out and stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, it's just like I don't get me wrong, Call of Duty series is great, but it can kind of get like I would say ruined by the community with all the tryhards, you know. Yeah, and the people just going for gameplays and triple Moab or whatever. <laughs> they do this 360 montage. Yeah, and um, I th I think it's it's kind of interesting how they're letting people upload at least for Machinima. I think they Machinima has the only permission to upload Black Ops 2 gameplay right now. And that's yeah. kind of interesting to see before like the c games release because the other ones they take it down. Like Activision would take it down and give you a f strike or whatever for it. So yeah, like a copyright strike. I yeah. Guess. So then, uh, you, sorry. Oh, no, no, you go ahead. <laughs> Alright, well, I was kind of thinking about Minecraft, too. Like, Minecraft is such a great game. They have 27 million people who have actually bought the game, I think, as of a week or two. So, that's a whole lot of people. That's, like, getting close to the population of Canada, actually. And if the game's, like, so good, then people, when Mojang or Notch or whatever decides to release a new game, kind of, I don't know, a game, indie game, kind of like Minecraft, It'll probably be hyped like Minecraft, like they'll expect it to be as good as Minecraft, and sometimes they think they have a good idea for a game, but sometimes it's just a total flop, so I think that might set a company up for failure, kind of. It's kind of like if your game goes viral, but with videos, I guess that kind of happens too, if you have a good video that goes viral and then your other ones aren't as good as it. So, what's your take on that? Uh, I, I would have to agree with you, man. That's basically true. Like... Some, like, I don't know. I would just agree with that because it makes total sense. Yeah, or, like, the company figures that they made a good game the first time, so they don't really need to put a ton of effort into the next one to make yeah, it a yeah. good game. I was actually going to talk about that. Like, I would rather them have, like, a Call of Duty game every two to three years if they improved it, but basically all they're doing is, like, changing the maps, the guns, and it's just the same thing in every Call of Duty, in my opinion. Yeah. I would rather I'd rather them take the time, change the game, make it even better if possible, or just change the game and have a different, to totally different experience for the players to have. And it kind of seems too like, uh, and Treyarch is doing all the switching up with the, uh, like they'll add, they're adding new things and changing things more than Infinity Ward. Because if you look at the difference between COD 4 and Modern Warfare 3, 
it's not a whole lot different except for theater mode and the guns and the light compensation and a ton of other crappy stuff. So, <laughs> what's your yeah. take on that? Do you think Treyarch is doing more stuff or Infinity Ward is? I don't know. Like, to me, Modern Warfare 3 was kind of a letdown in a way because I played Modern Warfare 2 nonstop when I got it because me and my friends would play it. We had a good time, but it kind of like. It had the kind of the same feel, except like the game looked different and the graphics were improved, of course, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what I think too. Like, and Modern Warfare 2 is so fun, even with the uh, like one man army and whatever else they had in all the hacking and stuff. Yeah. Modern Warfare 3, they seem to have fixed it and added a few things, and it's just kind of eh, not as fun to play, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, I have World at War for my Xbox, and. I love that game because it's like, I think it's like kind of super easy to get kills, but when I get into like lobbies and it's all hacked, there's like no support for the players whatsoever. Yeah. And then if you, then if you go to Black Ops, there's not a lot of that because it's like Treyarch actually cares because I think it's because of a newer game. Yeah. I think like right now, the Infinity Ward is kind of in the process of just letting. Modern Warfare 3 go on its own, kind of like taking the training wheels off as they're going to go work on whatever game they have now. So they have their development stage and then they kind of don't care about every other game. It's, oh, that game, yeah, that was a while ago. We don't really care about it. We're going to work on this one. And I think that kind of also leads to um, more sales because if the, like, Black Ops wasn't getting hacked in World at War, especially in COD 4, if it was as clean as, like, Modern Warfare 3 on PS3, then I think people would be, like, staying on COD 4 and World at War. But I think the hackers ruin it, so that's kind of making them upgrade, and I think that's kind of a strategy from Activision and Finny Ward and Treyarch. Yeah, like, have you heard of the uh, commentator slash YouTuber, whatever you want to call him, Minnesota Burns? Yeah, kind of the guy who trolls. Yeah, he trolls, but it's kind of funny because he trolls and he, rep like, puts a video up of like the hackers and modders and stuff from like COD 4 and COD 5 and yet he gets banned from Xbox but he doesn't really care. Yeah. Well, that, is, do you have anything else to talk about really then? Uh, no, uh, I'd say that about wraps it up for this, I guess. Alright, well I'll put Shadow Viper's channel in the description below. Check him out, he's a cool guy. I know he's a Minecraft server, I don't know if he shares it with his subscribers, but I've been on it, it's a pretty cool one, so... <laughs> Maybe you can ask him about it. He might make it a public one, so uh, that kind of puts the pressure on. But thanks for doing a dual con with me. Oh, can I say one more thing? Yeah, sure. Actually, I had I had let my server go public like once, I believe, once or twice. And every like I think I said twice I like go public. I put it on Planet Minecraft. Oh yeah. As soon as, soon as five minutes in uh, that I put it on, hackers had joined the world and they destroyed everything. And <laughs> that's. That's kind of why I'm kind of iffy about making the server public. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right, okay. I'm done. Well, thanks for the commentary. All right. Yeah, no problem, man. Bye. Bye.